That's why it is a big drama. Try to read again and again the story of salvation. We see the, the human struggles and human dilemma of understanding who Jesus is. And I think this is also clear. The same is true with us. That sometimes there is a dilemma and that we cannot really understand who Jesus is. It takes one to have faith in Jesus. It takes one to be humble, to know Him well. And especially the very words of Jesus today, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciple and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus in his words and very life are one. That every word that comes from the mouth of Jesus was a testimony of himself. That is why his words are very powerful. His words are moving. His words are inspiring and motivating people. This is also an invitation for us, my dear brothers and sisters, that in this life we should always learn to have a clarity of purpose, the clarity of vision, and the oneness of intention in the oneness of our life witnessing. I think napakahalaga po talaga na sa buhay po natin matuto po tayong maging tapat, truth in words, true in our speech, true in our actions. That would make us more credible people and that would always make us inspiring and motivating people in life. Napakahirap yung taong walang salita. Napakahirap yung taong hindi niya sinasabuhay ang niyang mga sinasabi. Because we know that what makes a person credible and a person with integrity is when there is a congruency or a unity of speech and actions. On these days of Lent, in which Jesus Christ was being tried and persecuted because he was so congruent, because his words are his life, his actions are his speech. Let us also then once again be inspired by him that let us always try to be true in our words and actions no matter what, in all circumstances and all opportunities. Jesus said, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. If you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Truth hurts, amen? But this is actually what's supposed to live. And when we live in truth, we will always be living meaningfully and freely. Amen.